So what I'm going to do, oh, they are really fast. What I'm going to do, they have a pace that way there. So I'm going to go up on shore so I don't scare them. What I did here, I placed the set 9 with the 2417 lens down to the beach and I think, I think I got some cool images there. This is Jaren. Wide sandy beaches stretches along the North Sea coastline and this is one of the best and most important places for the migrating birds. In general, tens of thousands of shorebirds can be observed at Jaren during the autumn. And I love spending time here late summer and into the autumn. I'm at my home beach. I'm going to see if I can find some shorebirds to photograph. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been at the beach photographing. Normally I go out in like the end of July to try to photograph the shorebirds, but now it's almost September. Some of the shorebirds starting to migrate and have a little quick stop here at the beach here. Weather is okay. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit sun. Uh, I can see ringed plovers. I saw Dunlin, but I hope to see some sanderlings. Anyways, it's really nice to be out. It's so, so refreshing with uh, like warm wind blowing directly in my face and ah, some sun. It's perfect. It doesn't get better than this. There's a flock of sanderlings just down the shoreline here. So what I'm going to do, oh, they are really fast. What I'm going to do, they have a pace that way there. So I'm going to go up on shore so I don't scare them and go ahead of them and just lay down and wait until they come past me. So as long as I'm laying down, they shouldn't be afraid of me. So that is the tactic though. And the uh, light is starting to get a great as well now. Oh, there they are. Okay, I need to rush. Sandling get their names from the foraging behavior. They run back and forth along the shoreline, chasing and probing the sand for food with their bills.
It wasn't that easy as I thought it would be. Many of the birds were really skittish and there was a lot of people walking with dogs and that made them nervous. But luckily one sanderling was foraging among the rocks so I spent some time there but I didn't manage to get my vlogging camera with me. Sanderlings primarily feed on small invertebrates such as crustaceans, mollusks and insects found in the sand and mud along the shore. It's so funny to see how they find food and everything happens really quickly. Okay, I'm not sure if that was a success. I didn't have time to vlog because it was so hard to get into position with the birds. They were so skittish. But at the end now, I got one bird, one sandling feeding on a stone. But when I finally got there, I didn't manage to get the vlogging camera so I could vlog there. But I got some videos and hopefully some stills. So. That should be good enough for today. Now I'm heading home. I'm definitely going back out to photograph the shorebirds. It was time to go to the beach again. But this time in a different place, together with my boss, who also is a wildlife photographer. Now was a different story. There was a lot of birds, a lot of birds, and many of them I was not afraid at all. So you can walk right up to them almost. It's blowing like crazy. But right in front of me, I have a sanderling, which I'm going to photograph. They are everywhere here. So now it's just a, a matter of finding a good place to, to stay here. So yeah. Two meters, two meters. I'm talking to you, it is not afraid. Look.
what I just did was something that I uh, plan to do and hopefully get some cool results of it is to use the auto capture for the set 9. So what I did here, I placed the set 9 with the 2417 lens down to the beach and just like rested there and waited for the birds like to pass the camera and I think, I think I got some cool images there.